guys. So this week I've been learning a lot of new things about Google Classroom that I had no idea about. But one thing that I learned, which I'm really excited about, and I've just put out to all my classes, is that you can actually challenge them on Kahoot. We know students love Kahoot. Um, and this is a way that you can put a Kahoot up with questions. Students can do it wherever they are, anytime they want. Um, and it'll still create that like order of who came first and who got which questions correct. And they can see how they're going on the podium. And it's just a way for you to, one, gauge your understanding of a topic, um, two, build a little bit of friendly competition, which we love, especially with our seniors. Um, and three, it's a good way for them to actually engage because they're seeing their classmates' names up there doing the questions with them. So I'm just going to show you quickly. It's real easy. I'll show you quickly how to do that. So first thing you need to do is log into Kahoot and create a quiz just up here, create. It's really straightforward. I won't take you through it. it it's designed um, to be very, very easy. Once you've done that, you can come up top here to Cahoots. And uh, you'll see all the Cahoots you've made. So I've got a few here for my classes. And um, I'm just going to pick one here, Livability. What you need to do once you've made it is come over here to Play. And you're going to hit Create Challenge. Um, and you're going to have Create New. And you're going to give it a finish time. So all they have to do, they can do it whenever they want, but they have to be finished by, say, Tuesday, 31st of March at uh, end of school, 3 p.m. And press create. What's going to happen next is it's going to take you to this page here. You can copy the link, but it's actually got Google Classroom like ready to go. So click on Google Classroom, and it's going to ask you for um, a class. So I'm just going to put in my old class that's graduated. Actually, I might put my test one in. Test, choose action, and I do it as create assignment. Um, and I'll show you why in a moment. So create assignment. Um, and for the moment, I'm just going to uh, put it as Kahoot. One other thing I've learned this week, which I love, and I'll show you quickly. If you press down here, you can actually schedule your posts. So I'm going to schedule this for Monday because I don't want to post over the weekend, 9 a.m. And it's just going to save it. Uh, in your Google Classroom. Now, once you've posted one, if you come back here and go to Cahoots, I did actually post one for my seniors the other day and I've had a few students complete it already in lots of weekend, um, but just shows how keen they are. I'll show you what you do from here to actually view it. So once you find it, so it's ecosystems introduction, uh, just click on the one you're trying to look at. And down the side here, it will have view challenge info. Click on view challenge info and you can, once it loads, you scroll down and I've, I've blocked out the names, but the names are here and then you can see uh, the accuracy and you can see their final score as well. And from there on, on Tuesday when it finishes, I'm just going to make like a little podium in Photoshop and upload that to their classroom. Now, the reason I said to do it as an assignment and save it as a draft is what I've been doing is, um, I'll show you quickly here, if I go to my classroom um, and go to, sorry, different class here that I've been using. Um, so this is one of them. And what I did was I've saved it and then I've gone back in later. So I just saved it as Kahoot originally for Kahoot. And then I've gone back in later, I've added all their work. So that's, that's their work for the day. There's a self-assessment quiz, a video, an article they need to watch, and then the Kahoot they can do at the end. So if you do it that way, you can just keep it all together. So yeah, have fun. Um, and yeah, trying to integrate some Kahoots. I'm sure just hearing the Kahoot music at home will bring a smile to some of our kids' faces.